everyone. We're going to talk about some feelings again. And today we're going to remember how to calm down when we're feeling disappointed. Um, on Tuesday, K.O. Kangaroo was disappointed that he didn't get a turn to ride bikes with his brother. I helped him calm down and reminded him how to do belly breathing. So this is Camilla. Right there, there she is. She really, really wants to sit next to the teacher at story time, but two other children are already there. How do you think Camilla feels? I agree. I think she feels disappointed or sad or mad or maybe even all of those feelings at the same time. You feel disappointed when you don't get what you want. Camilla feels like shouting or pushing her way next to the teacher. Does Camilla need to calm down? You're right, she does need to calm down. What can she do to calm down? That's amazing, you guys remembered all of that. You're right, she can put her hands on her tummy and heart to check in, say stop, say how she's feeling, and do some belly breaths. Let's practice belly breathing together. I'm going to put my picture over here. Let's practice belly breathing together. Remember, when you're belly breathing, you can feel your belly moving in and out with your breath. Those big belly breaths feel so good. I can understand how they help us calm down. Because even when I'm not upset, they make my body feel good. Now let's pretend to be Camilla and practice calming down together. Are you ready? Let's practice the whole calming down. So we're gonna check in. We've checked in, now we're gonna say stop, stop. I feel disappointed. Belly breaths. Nice work, calming down. Very nice job. When you have strong feelings and need to calm down, you can use those calming down steps to help you. I hope that you have lots of happy feelings, but when you have uncomfortable feelings, I know that you know how to calm down. I'll see you next time. Bye.